Let's have a look at how the OpenTunes plastic tool works on thin extended meshes. Using the geometry tool with the ellipse function, draw an elongated ellipse and fill it with a new style color. Use the bezier handles to make it a long extended arm shape, the kind that Goofy has. Choose the Skeleton tool from the Tool Panel, and then click Create Mesh. Zoom the view out, and then adjust the density of the mesh as shown. Change this to 72 dpi. First, we'll try painting a rigid area just around the periphery of the mesh. We do this when in the Paint Rigid mode. Next, switch to the Build Skeleton mode, and place the nodes as shown. Extend the length of the animation in the X sheet by extending the cell range of both columns. Next, switch to the Animate mode in the Skeleton tool. By selecting a node and then moving it, the mesh will deform and bend at the node previous to it. Since the bend is not ideal, go back to Build Skeleton and add a couple more nodes. Seeing how the mesh now deforms, return to the Build Skeleton node and add more nodes. Test these out and see that the deformation is anything but ideal. Let's experiment a little more by returning to the Paint Rigid mode and then selecting Flex. Adjust the brush size and then paint the entire mesh so that it will be flexible. Return to the Animate mode and test the mesh deformation now. We now have a much better result. For cartoon limb deformation, uncheck the Keep Distance checkbox. It seems this little demonstration has proven we can produce a goofy arm using OpenTune's wonderful plastic tool.